Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So Sagittarius, April 2021 for you guys. Sagittarius Spirit, April Priestess, Strength, Hangman, well, Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, sorry. Okay, your overall, wow, Nine of Cups. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Destiny, karma, things happening at the precise moment and time that they're meant to happen. You know, things turning in your favor. And I definitely see a new beginning, emotional happiness, wish fulfillment. You know, some of you could be getting into a new relationship. Yeah, the Four of Wands is here. This might have something to do with a home. For some of you, your foundation, I feel like, I feel like, for some of you, you are going to feel very secure, stable. You know, maybe in the past you were, you know, dating. You really couldn't get a commitment, but now you're getting a commitment. But I do see definitely nervous energy here with the Nine of Swords. Oh, wow. Knight of Wands. Okay, listen, if you felt stuck or fear was holding you back, a lack of confidence, I see you freeing yourself from, from that. And your luck is changing. Your overall energy for the next, for the entire month is the Nine of Cups. Feeling emotionally happy, a wish come true. Just feeling happy and content this month which is great. All right. And you're starting with the high priestess. You do have a few people here. Starting out with the queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be your energy. You females. You also have the queen of pentacles. So this is definitely could be for you females. Definitely, especially if you have Earth in your chart. Others of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you could be enjoying yourself this month. Some of you could be receiving something from two different women. The Wheel of Fortune is a karmic energy, right? It's you having...
it's a karmic energy. The Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck right here. You know, Eight of Swords, the Ten of Cups is here. Oh, and the Two of Cups. Beautiful. Two of Cups, the Emperor. Some of you are definitely getting into a relationship. So some of you are making a commitment. Like you have absolutely found your soulmate. It could be a relationship where, you know, you're just getting to know each other, spending time together, more time together. You know, it could be that some of you, you know, were maybe playing the field, you know, just trying to... Make your mind up. If it, you know, if that's the case, and you know, you're someone that's choosing between a couple of people. You're absolutely thinking about it, spending time alone, thinking about it. I definitely see some of you very intuitive. Some of you might realize something about a man that was a player, but I do feel like. That's coming to an end. Like someone could have been lacking confidence. You could have been lacking confidence, feeling nervous. You know, someone you know could have been holding you back, but they're over definitely overcoming that. Like really, strength, the six of pentacles. Some of you are definitely Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely investing. Like, either in a relationship with the Two of Cups, that Ten of Cups that we saw at the bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. For some of you, this is definitely soulmate relationship. This is a relationship that is totally meant to be. It's meant to come into your life. Now, it's not going to be love for all of you, but for those of you that it is love, it is meant to be. I see long-term potential. There's a very strong physical attraction. There's a man and a woman. Aries, Taurus, male. Some of you could have found your soulmate with this man. You know, there could have been a hindrance prior, just fear, just nervous about the whole situation. Someone is definitely breaking free from that. Others of you, yes, this could be a new job with the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could be, you know, learning something new. It is going to benefit you greatly. You have this karmic energy here, so... What you put into something, you're going to see great rewards. Right, Sagittarius? That's what's going to come from that. You have the Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. The Hangman. So yes, some of you might need to take some kind of, some kind of sacrifice when it comes to this. If you're getting a new job, learning something new, others of you are... You're just going to need to be patient as you go through this process. But you have the Wheel of Fortune here. That means go with the flow. The Ace of Pentacles, Sagittarius, is your new beginning. If you've been waiting for something to come in, it's absolutely coming in. You know, you're receiving. And it could possibly be coming from this Queen of Pentacles, this woman Virgo Taurus Capricorn could be helping you. You know, she could be giving you this opportunity. This is you with the Nine of Cups receiving a wish come true. 
some of you could be really starting your own business. It's a process. But you're, you are very, very devoted to this. It really is a beautiful spread, really. It looks like a beautiful month for you guys. Seriously. I'm going to get you guys a Moonology card. This is a great reading, Aries. Really. Definitely. All right. Aries. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Confidence is your key to success. How about that? Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. And you do it because you do have the strength card too. And this is Leo. You, you can have a Leo here that's a friend of yours. That could possibly be helping you. Because you do have two women in this reading. It could even be three because of the high priestess, it's a woman. This woman could have Leo in her chart. But confidence is the key to success. So believe in yourself. It's beautiful. And Sagittarius, listen to me very carefully. This is going to make you very, 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 very happy. Very happy. Sag, great reading. Absolutely love you guys. I will see you back here with your love readings. Take care.